juices. Which is it? Graffiti. Let's see. The first drawings happened on walls in caves thousands of years ago. And later in ancient Rome and Greeks wrote their names and poems on the side of buildings. Modern graffiti seemed to appear in Philadelphia in the early 1960s. In um, the 1970s is where it reached New York and it really took off as a new art. Um, early taggers in the 1970s were part of street gangs and they were more concerned about putting their names on buildings to show their territory. They worked in groups called crews and they did what they called was writing. Um, the term graffiti was used first by the New York Times and the novelist Norman Mailer. Our galleries in New York began buying graffiti in the early 70s, uh, which just added to the regard of graffiti as an art form. John Lindsay, the, the then New York mayor, was the first to declare um, the first war on graffiti. By the 1980s, it became much harder to write on subway trains without being caught. Instead, um, being more established graffiti artists then chose to graffiti on the tops of roofs and other buildings. Um, today, I want to convince you that graffiti is art. It's often misinterpreted and is beautiful. Um, we'll discuss why it's a serious problem and how to um, celebrate the artists in all varied styles. Breaking news on April um, 12, 2020, a 20-year-old 20 graffiti artist was arrested after causing $38,000 in property damage over a two-year period. The suspect was allegedly responsible for over 314 different incidences. When the police captured him, he had hundreds of pens, markers, and spray paint cans in his possession. I could say that calling got caught red-handed, right? Yeah. Um, the term, not the term, wow. So yeah, it was a mess. <laughs> A couple of the dangers that graffiti artists have are throat, nose, eye irritations. They have coughing and um, coordination loss and they even nausea that happens every once in a while depending on how high the buildings are and everything that way. Um, another quick danger to point out is the height of the buildings or roofs or billboards that are often places for the graffiti to land. Um, the style of art has changed over the years. Um, Dr. Robert Glass of Smart History, the Center of Public Art History said, over the past century and a half, both art and art history has evolved erratically. Artists turned away from the classical tradition embracing new media and aesthetic ideals. Art historians shifted their focus from analyzing art's formal beauty to interpreting its of its cultural meaning. Now there are some cruel things that happen in art and are presented in both graffiti and classical traditional art, but not all of it's bad. We also have murals in schools, um, in offices, and in some homes. It's an avenue to express feelings, thoughts, and thoughts of artists and the feelings that they are trying to create in a different spaces. Desire to be more tolerant of others' beauty. Not everyone sees things as beautiful or in the same light. Neither do many artists, but they never bash or harm others because they don't see eye to eye. They're able to see the work and dedication that it took to celebrate art in all of its glory. Um, most art is expressed in ways that uplift and help others to feel a sense of calm at another's hand. Considering the time that it takes to do this art, 
is actually quite time consuming. We all have different perceptions and don't view the things the same way. Bishop Cousset of the presiding bishop, Rick, said in last general conference, our interactions with the beauties of nature around us can produce some of the most inspiring and delightful experiences. Pause with me for a moment and ponder, what would life be without any art? It would be so drab. <laughs> I know. See, it would be so drab. <laughs> Um, life without pictures, movies, or anything on our walls in our homes would be boring. We would be all more depressed if there was no way to create or see beautiful paintings. Art is a way to get emotions out and can be very therapeutic. It relieves stress, anxiety, or other traumas that people have experienced both emotionally and physically. Boy K. Packer's life shows this beautifully. Um, he shares this thought of him and Sister Packer. He says, through the years, she always made a space available, even though I would create a bit of dust with my carvings. Whenever she would, could tell that I was preoccupied, she would say, why don't you go paint <laughs> or carve for a little while? As I painted or carved, I was able to work through the things in my mind and resolve whatever it was that was weighing on me. What a powerful man he is. Work with me to celebrate art in all of its forms, including graffiti, in every hand, in every stroke the, of the spray can. We can look at the same admiration and dedication as beautiful as beautiful as it is, as we see in Van Gogh or Pablo Picasso or Karl Bloch. Each artist can be celebrated as a job well done, thanks to the art graffitis of the, <laughs> of the past. Um, Keith Irving and presented the most beautiful paintings all over the world and even in our own backyards. Graffiti is art and is beautiful and can be celebrated with artists in all their forms.